हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक आई एम राघवेन मिश्रा एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी ऑटोमेटिंग अ लॉग इन पेज ऑफ सॉस डेमो एप्लीकेशन यूजिंग बिहेवियर ड्रिवन डेवलपमेंट अप्रोच ऑल्सो नोन एज बी डी डी वेर इन वी विल बी राइटिंग लॉग इन सिनारियो इन कुकुम्बर फीचर फाइल एंड स्टेप डिफिनीशन विच इज नथिंग बट द बैक एंड कोड और ग्लू कोड फॉर द फीचर फाइल एंड वी विल बी राइटिंग अ टेस्ट रनर क्लास यूजिंग टेस्ट एन जी एंड ऑल्सो एनालाइज एस टी एल रिपोर्ट एट द एंड ऑफ द टेस्ट एग्जीक्यूशन सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड so in my clips i'll create a maven project and let us name it as bdd framework or you can name it anything of your choice artifact id i'll copy the same bdd framework so artifact id is nothing but the project uh, name okay which gets created after we click on finish and here you can see the folder structure so we have src main java src main resource src test java src test resources okay so inside src test resource let me create a folder called feature features so this folder is going to accommodate all the feature file for the test cases going forward which we are writing in this framework okay so since we are going to automate login test okay using bdd approach i'm going to write i'm going to create login feature file so this gets created and you can see the icon get changed to the cucumber right so this is the confirmation that the plugin cucumber plugin is installed in eclipse id just in case if this icon is missing just be sure that you go to the eclipse marketplace and search for cucumber here in this so let it load yeah and here you can search for cucumber in case if it is installed just press enter in case if it is installed it will say it is installed in case if it is missing or not installed it will allow or give you the option to install it you just click on install and it will be installing all those uh install installing this cucumber plugin and similarly you have to make sure this test ng plugin is also installed in your id so in my case in my id it is already installed be sure that these two plugins a uh, test ng uh, because that will be we will be using to run uh, our feature file step definition files and uh, cucumber which is supporting uh, the feature feature files right bdd approach so those two plugins are installed i'll click on cancel for now and since we have created this login out feature so it is giving uh, some kind of you know dummy value here so i will delete the content of this file since we are going to write our own for the login uh, test scenario so i'll be writing this and i'll give you uh, i'll i'll give you a colon and we will write the description of this login page automation automation of sos demo application right then i will come here just below line i will be mentioning what kind of scenario it is so i will check login is successful with valid credentials entered okay with valid credentials and then it is accepting this gherkin syntax right so in gherkin syntax we generally you know give uh, given when and then and but right so those kind of you know notation uh, notations uh, will be given in this gherkin uh, language so given is nothing but a prerequisite right here i'll, I'll talk about it uh, but let me just uh, write um, given user is on user is on login page okay so it is going to be a pretty uh, you know simple english which uh, even the people with a non technical background can understand your use case right so this provides that 
you know power basically it is the cool feature right isn't it so i will be writing this when user enters here is the user is on login page and user is on login page when user enters valid username so i'm just writing it in the plain english and password and clicks on login button okay so this is that expectation and uh, so i should uh, where where uh, he should getting landed to he should be navigated to basically then user should be navigated to home page right so that is my scenario that is my case basically and i'll be uh, checking against this scenario basically okay so check login is successful with the valid credentials so user should be or user is navigated to i can write navigated to home page and close the browser so this is the feature file okay this is a uh, simple english you can write your own okay uh, grammar or anything of your choice right so this is the requirement and uh, this is pretty straight forward right check login is successful with the valid credentials credentials and this is my application here in uh, i will be entering the username and password this is source demo application and uh, this is the password okay so after entering this i am clicking on login and i will be i should be navigated to the home page okay so that is what we are going to automate using bdd so here what i will do i will just uh, let me minimize this i will run this file since i have written only login dot feature i don't have anything inside the pom uh, and uh, i have just written down one login dot feature file and i will run it let us see if we can run it or not or what kind of error it is throwing so it is throwing could not find or load main class cucumber.api.cli.main so what we will do in this case when we you see this error so it is clear cut indication that there is something um, needed right for your project in order to support this feature fine so you have to add certain dependencies certain jars right in order to you know uh, identify the feature file basically whatever whatever we have written uh, right uh, for this login or test it should be understandable right so what we will do we will go to the maven uh, project here maven repository and we will search for the cucumber cucumber java okay so we'll take the dependency one by one from the io dot um, cucumber package so it factories are moved to this io dot cucumber so at the time of this um, recording this video we have 7.13 version of cucumber java so which we will be adding into this dependencies inside this project in in pom.xml okay and then similarly we will search for cucumber test ng okay i'll take the dependencies 17.13 so we have added cucumber java we will be adding the dependencies for the cucumber test ng and then we will be taking out test ng we will be taking test ng dependencies also so it is 7.8 at the time of recording this video so just make sure that you are picking up the dependencies from the maven tab right because this is maven project i have added i will be adding since it is going to be we will be using selenium a code as well right so selenium java will also be added here in order to identify the x path and automate the feature we need selenium java jar as well okay but in order to sort this you know um, error we need cucumber java so let me run this feature file again and uh, see if this error is gone or not see this error has been gone and uh, yeah you can see one 
scenario one undefined okay and five step four skipped and one undefined so what 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 is the problem here there is no problem the only thing is like since you have written the uh, feature file but you have uh, missed to write but you have not added or associated any glue code or any kind of you know a step definition with the feature file okay each step you have defined here in the feature file needs uh, a corresponding uh, glue code some uh, kind of you know step definition so this part is missing so i am going to you know copy this uh, to the step definition okay so where we should write where we should write uh, the step definition we should write a step definition inside the this one so i will be creating one more folder inside the sassy test java and that folder is going to be we will name it as steps step definition definitions okay so i've created a folder called step definitions and inside which i will be creating one class file i'll name it as login step login step or login steps definition okay dot java or i can just simply write this login steps definition and click on finish so inside which i am going to add this code this part of you know code which is required for to run that feature file okay so now it is um, showing some error on the <coughs> annotations right which are used in this bdd so at the rate given at the rate when these not uh, these these annotations are uh, you know missing so it requires some you know import right so let's see if it is asking for any import yeah so you can see just over the mouse over and you will see like what it is expecting so it is expecting that it should be imported from io.cucumba.java.in so what i'll do as a shortcut i will be just holding shift control and press o so it will download it will add all those all those uh, required you know packages and the error is gone now i'll save it and you can see the error is gone now okay now here here uh, in the step definition what we will do we will cross check like if it is actually matching or you know exactly with the feature file or not so here we are using all the uh, all the all the uh, annotation whatever we have given here whatever syntax we have given like is uh, appeared in this step definition as a uh, annotation right given when and so let us see if we have implemented everything so when user is on click on login button so there is one part of it is missing which is that yeah nothing is miss missed so when user enters valid username and password and and here it should be and okay not the when because we have given something like and given when user enters um, username and password and given when user is on login page when user enters a login you enters valid username and password and so i will just again hold shift control and press o it is going to add the package right required package for and annotation from the cucumber okay and login button then so this is going to be my this is my precondition okay and when when is something like um, you know you uh, action item right and um, when and and then uh, perform this action then the expectation is this okay when we perform this action then expectation is this so when uh, what we are mentioning in the given is given is precondition and when is uh, kind of you know, action okay and is associated with when here so this all th those two together you know uh, makes a condition basically the action and the when is the um, um, 
given is the precondition when is the action and then is the user expectation what we are expecting so we are expecting that user is navigated to the home page okay when the user perform the uh, click on the login button he should be navigated to the home page and it should be and here as per the feature file okay so here in the feature file if you see we have used and okay so now it is perfect now we can just run this file again now it is expecting something to be done um, implement me login step definition user is on the login page okay so something login feature okay so to do implement me okay so we are going to you know implement all those you know whatever is there in this inside this so let us start implementing whatever is there inside this um, annotations inside these methods so you see for every you know uh, steps we have written here a corresponding method is uh, you know is created by the uh, cucumber right so user is on the login page and here inside this user is on the login page this is the given this is the precondition so i'm going to write the uh, implementation for this now what does it mean user is on the login page basically we have to instantiate the um, we, uh, we have to instantiate the browser uh, a driver basically okay and uh, then we have to access the login page of source, uh, source demo login page right so for this i will be simply you know creating a, a reference variable of web driver class web driver uh, interface i'll be simply putting it and here i can so in the new version of selenium java you don't need to write web managers or to to invoke the or download the um, um, drivers or rather like if you use simply use chrome driver it will download the latest you know driver for the uh, chrome okay so i will import it and i will be let me add some timeout implicit timeout implicit wait i will be adding the duration of second let me add the implicit weight of 30 second and then i will be you know accessing the url here in this block and what is that url that url is nothing but the login page url of source demo application okay so that's done we we have access here and here we will be providing the a code we will be implementing the code for user who will be entering the uh, you know who should be entering the valid username and the password so for that i will be writing page elements and by dot x path or id whatever works for you so let me identify the id and uh, of this element so i will take the id you can use selector hub plugin uh, which is available for the chrome and other browsers so here i will be using this by dot id and i will be sending keys and uh, the username is standard user you can see here below on the login page so i'll be using a standard user and the, similarly for the password i will be using let us see the password if you don't have this selector hub plugin uh, then you can inspect and form the x path or you can inspect you can see if uh, there is any id available uh, in the dome using which you can identify uniquely identify this particular you know field or web element on the page okay so you can see this password is available uh, id you can get and you can also verify okay so i'll be taking this so in my other videos you can see like how to form the x path which i am not going to cover here in this uh, video because i am assuming that and uh, you know the how to form the x path 
and uh, as i told you like you can use a, a plugin cropath or selector hub plugin that will help you identify the xpath of particular you know um, web element of the page if not uh, you can refer my uh, other videos like how to manually you know construct the xpath uh, of the web element in my other videos in this channel uh, that will guide you uh, or help you identify the xpath of that identify the xpath or construct the xpath so now I will be using this secret sauce password for all users secret sauce and then here in this uh, and click on login right so what I'll do I'll just copy paste again and here I'm going to find the X I'm not going to send anything right rather I will be clicking on the login button so let me find the xpath or id of this particular web element which is button so i have identified it and here what i have to confirm that user is navigated to the home page right so let me write the code for that as well so here how you would identify that user is identified you have to you know let me click here manually and uh, uh, what I'll do, I can when I see this particular you know text, right? I can be our user can be sure that it has landed to the home page, right? So this is the confirmation, and um, for which we are going to you know put the assertion, right? So let me take the X path of this, and I will put that in the assertion. Assert dot assert true. Assert true. Okay. And here what i can do i can basically uh, um, look for the xpath which i have copied okay so y dot xpath and uh, i will paste that xpath over here and uh, when if i um, if the size of that particular you know um, uh, if if anything is uh, present right on the page so side of course uh, the size of that particular web elements will be greater than zero right so here instead of this um, you know is it true i should be let me write full find element and i will be putting that xpath over here xpath by dot xpath okay so yeah something like this now I will be uh, hold on driver dot find element and one extra got added assert true driver assert false driver dot okay so here what we can do we can uh, actually get the size of this size and we can verify if the size of this particular size is the method basically so if the size of uh, web elements is greater than zero which means uh, there is element present right so that element is present but why size is not coming here change to get size no we are not yeah here here you have to uh, adjust because we are trying to you know get all the elements so it is available with the find elements right with this class uh, method so inside which you will get the size okay and you can pass a message also that user has been navigated to the home page when the size of the element is greater than zero means element is found right and we are passing this message okay and at the end we can close the browser as well so try driver dot close we can write or driver dot quit we can write okay so this is how we can write our step definition for the login feature file which we have um, uh, uh, written which we have created okay so the login step definition is ready here so now we can run this one more time let us see see it has launched the browser it has entered the password and see everything is passed but you will not be getting any uh, you know test ng report because we have run the simply and there is some soft connection that is fine 
and uh, because we have claw it is done and close the browser it is closed Let, and uh, since one one passed and five passed yeah so one two three four five all passed okay so don't worry about this uh, connection socket this is because we have closed that uh, channel and all uh, expected thing is like uh, user enter username and password and clicks on login button user is navigated to home page it has navigated to the home page and then after closing that we are getting this and close the browser right so, all right cool now uh, let us let us uh, write a test runner class for this okay so how we will write that test runner and we can verify if every uh, whatever you know uh, step definition or whatever uh, method we have written for these you know gherkin syntax these feature files or this is actually working fine or not so we will be writing a one test runner um, um, uh, class <coughs> and we will be actually executing we will be write uh, executing that runner class from the test ng okay so that any uh, definition files written inside this folder particular uh, uh, folder step definition will get picked up and it will execute all the definitions right uh, for the features file okay so let, let me run let me so that runner file we can add feature file we can run uh, we can uh, glue or we can add the backend code which is nothing but the step definition so i'll create one folder called uh, trash uh, test runner okay here in this and inside which I will be creating a class called Cucumber Test Run. Cucumber Test Runner. Okay. And what I will do here in this Cucumber uh, Runner Test is like I will be uh, <coughs> adding one annotation, annotation called Cucumber Options inside that i will be writing tags which we are not using anyway at this point in time so we will keep it blank so tags are nothing but like in case if you want to you know add that tag here you have to add something like a smoke test or you have to tell okay but for now we can keep it blank i will cover in the next uh, videos in the series and then feature file right feature file equal to and you have to use curly bracket for all these and here you have to give the path of this feature file okay so you can give the relative path so i'm copying from src and then you have to give the glue code glue code is nothing but the you have to tell like where is your uh, step definition for this particular you know feature file so all the feature file which you keep you will keep on adding a lot of you know feature file for the uh, test cases you have right in this framework all those will be picked up from this location and the corresponding you know glue code will be found inside the step definition so here we can give the uh, you know direct like a step definition folder name but let me add this and try <clears throat> so it may not work but i will tell you i will uh, tell you like uh, these are the errors you may come across but don't worry uh, i will fix it here and will tell you like how uh, you know we will run and we will get uh, to know like what kind of you know, error you might be getting when you execute this uh, project or <clears throat> then i will be giving here this is the plugin for the reporting so pretty i will be setting it to the pretty and then i will be using html report right so in order to generate html report we have to just give the path like where you want to you know generate so target is already created so i want my html report to be generated inside this and uh, let's see if it has anything it has nothing right as of now so i will be generating my html report dot html okay something like this and here what you have to do like um, it is public class cucumber test runner you have to extend you have to abstract uh, uh, extend abstract 
test ng cucumber test okay from the io cucumber test ng so extend this so this is the <coughs> complete this is complete and let me run and when i run it uh, using test ng it is supposed to you know pick all those feature file from this location and all the uh, respective glue code from this path okay and it should generate the generate the uh, HTML report inside target folder. Okay, let me run it and see if it is getting um, you know executed or not. Oh, it is throwing error, right? There is one failure. Let us uh, see the failure. What it is complaining. So here you can see like warning is. So you have to keep your eye on this warning uh, first. So it can be replaced. It is not finding the uh, uh, you know uh, respective glue code in this path. And so it is suggesting you consider replacing glue path on that path with this step definition only. Okay, so I'll copy this or just you can remove relative because your code is here, right? So it is expecting that those glue code to be present inside this and you should not specify that relative path rather you have to specify that um, folder wherein all the glue codes are present. Okay, now let us run it again. I have saved it and um, let me run it. See, it has launched the browser, it has entered the username and password, and test is passed. Okay, there is no socket error, nothing of that kind. We have executed it from the test ng and this particular you know scenario, this particular you know valid credential scenario is complete, right now we want to we want to see uh, we want to see like uh, if the report is generated html report yeah you can see whatever we have given html report is generated we can open this with the browser web browser and see the report of your particular feature file or test case is present over i mean is available here so this is the feature which we have written and this is a description of the feature which we have written login page automation of source demo app check login is successful with the valid credentials we have provided the valid credentials so given this is the condition so everything passed you can see the green tick mark right everything is passed perfectly fine okay so you can see here and you can also see like how long does it take actually to complete the execution so it took uh, this much you know second and all are passed it was executed on windows 10 and the last run right uh, so it will keep on like uh, as in when the time is passed it will tell you like when it was executed right so it will give you the latest uh, i mean like the updated uh, time okay see now it was executed two minutes ago it will uh, tell you the same thing okay so that's all I have um, for this video and I hope you have liked the explanation and learned uh, from this video. Please do like and subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and also share the feedback in comment section. And I will see you in the next video. Until then keep learning and thanks for watching.